Now, it's quite clear that you won't migrate your entire on-prem to the cloud in the first go. It makes a lot more sense to migrate portions at a time where appropriate. As such, you'll still need a way for your on-prem systems to communicate with your newly minted cloud resource. In this episode, I'm going to dive into Google Cloud Interconnect so you can set up high-speed direct connection to Google's network for faster data migration and an optimal hybrid environment. Stay tuned. Sure, you can reach your cloud resources with the appropriate VPC firewalls and IPs in place, but if your hybrid architecture requires connections with higher availability and lower latency, then a direct connection to Google's network can offer more reliability and performance. So let's look at how this plays out in reality. Black Friday is coming up, and you're expecting a significant spike in compute resources to support the inbound traffic to your site. Now, if you have your compute in a GCP VPC, then you could directly ping them from your on-prem systems. This would work, technically. You'd get scalable systems in the cloud and secure processing on-prem. On the backside, however, there are a load of issues. Firstly, this forces the communication between your VPC and on-prem to go through the public internet, communicating through publicly visible IPs, most likely requiring you to secure your traffic via a VPN in the middle. Secondly, this produces a significant performance challenge. The public internet, is not the most performant. And the extra overhead of VPN on the packets could lead to less than desired performance on a significant shopping holiday. What you want instead is a reliable way to connect your on-premise workloads to the public cloud in a secure, fast, and reliable manner. In other words, you want to extend your on-premise private network into Google Cloud over a dedicated link. The purpose of Google Cloud Interconnect is to provide direct, fast connection between your on-premise and Google Cloud networks in a secure fashion. This security and performance mixture is hyper important for a large number of industries who work between on-prem and in-cloud. For example, data migration, replication, disaster recovery, or other high performance computing situations. In these scenarios, you want to directly connect your cloud systems while extending your private on-prem network to the cloud. Google Cloud Interconnect provides a few options that can suit your specific needs, but the one I'll focus on is Dedicated Interconnect, which provides direct physical connections between your on-premise network and Google's network. It works like this. You set up a cross-connect between your own router and the Google network in a common co-location facility. If you can't perform this, then the official docs have some options for you. A BGP session is configured over the interconnect between the cloud router and your on-premise router, BGP is a protocol that helps route traffic to subnets using the shortest paths between edge routers. Traffic from your on-premise network can reach your Google Cloud VPC and vice versa. With dedicated interconnect, the immediate benefit is an enterprise-grade connection to your Google VPC with a dedicated 10 gigabit per second circuit directly to a Google location. Moreover, you now have connectivity reaching beyond Google's existing network locations, allowing you to scale connectivity and save on your egress traffic costs from your VPC network to your on-premise network. Now you have a way to transfer large amounts of data between networks, which can be more cost-effective than purchasing additional bandwidth over the public internet. On top of that, you'll experience fewer disruptions and drops with a predictable user experience. Traffic between your on-premise and VPC networks doesn't touch the public internet, meaning fewer hops and potential points of failure where it can be disrupted or dropped. A key benefit is that your VPC's internal IP addresses can be directly accessed from your on-premise network with peering, no NAT device or VPN tunnel required. Now let's dive into how to actually get that set up. First, let's make sure you have a VPC set up for your cloud environment. If you haven't set that up, see the previous episode. Now, the first steps in using Cloud Interconnect involve deciding if you want to use a dedicated connection or a partner connection. While there are a few nuances between the two, depending on your needs, the primary ones that I'm concerned with are speed. Dedicated Interconnect is ideal for situations where you need more than a 10 gigabit connection. A partner can be used for lower speed needs. Access. If your on-prem can't physically meet Google's network in a co-location facility, then you can use Partner Interconnect. Now, for the sake of our demo, we're going to use Dedicated Interconnect because it's a little simpler and can be cheaper in some situations. Let's see what this looks like. Go to the Cloud Interconnect Physical Connections tab in the Google Cloud Platform Console. Select Setup Connection. 
select dedicated interconnect and then select continue. Now select order new dedicated interconnect and then select continue. Specify the details for your name, location, and capacity of the interconnect. Now capacity is an interesting metric. The capacity you need is determined by the number of 10 gigabit per second connections you can order, also called a circuit. Now select next. We'll skip over the redundancy information for now, but if you need that, please see the docs linked in the description below. Specify your contact information and review your order. Now select place order. On the order confirmation page, review the next steps and then select done. Now it's important to note that you are in fact ordering a dedicated interconnect connection from your on-prem to Google itself. Once Google's done allocating things, it'll send you a confirmation email and send you some LOA CFAs, which you'll send to your vendor. They will provision the cross connects between the Google peering edge and your on-premises network. Now, once this is all set up, Google has to test your access extensively before you'll be able to use the interconnect directly. There are some complicated steps involved with this that are specific to your setup, so we'll point you to the resource linked in the description below to do that and skip it for this video. Once all that is done, your final step is to configure your VLAN attachments. Once Google verifies you have a cross connect, you see that your interconnect is ready to configure and you can click finish setup and select add VLAN attachment. Give it a name, my attachment, and select or create a cloud router to associate with this attachment. It has to be in the VPC network that you want to connect to. After you're done adding the VLAN attachments, select create. The attachment takes a few moments to create. Now you can click configure to add a BGP session to your cloud router's interface. You give it a name for the BGP session, the public or private ASN of your on-premises router, which uniquely identifies each network on the internet for BGP sessions, an optional advertised route priority. The cloud router and on-premises BGP IP addresses are already allocated by the VLAN attachment. The BGP sessions are inactive until you configure BGP on your on-premises router. If you're building redundancy with a duplicate interconnect, repeat these steps for the second interconnect and specify a different cloud router. For more info, check out the documentation. Now, I want to note there are a few nuances between how you use cloud VPN, VPC, and dedicated interconnect with your own VPN, but that's all covered quite well in the official doc, so again, I'll direct you there in the description. Now that you have configured a dedicated connection to Google's network, the next step is to protect your cloud instances by configuring firewall rules. If you want to learn how to do that, then stay tuned for the next episode of Google Cloud Networking End-to-End. -end. And remember, Optimizing your network means freeing up your bandwidth.